Unit 5. Integrating Images. It's a pleasant day. Welcome to this video. I'm delighted and excited to see you again. Today we are going to talk and learn HTML images, the HTML images syntax, the ALG attribute, changing image size, image floating, image type supported by HTML, image maps and more. So let's get started. Images enhance the visual appearance of the web pages by making them more interesting and colorful. The images are defined with the IMG tag. The IMG tag is empty, it contains attributes only, and does not have a closing tag. Here's the syntax of the IMG tag. Let's have a working example using the image syntax. Check this out. The src attribute specifies the URL, web address, of the image. The alt attribute provides an alternate text for an image, if the user for some reason cannot view it, because of slow connection, an error in the src attribute, or if the user uses a screen reader. In case the browser couldn't find an image, it will display the value of the alt attribute. The alt attribute is required. A web page will not validate correctly without it. You can use the style attribute to specify the width and height of an image. The values are specified in pixels, use px after the value. We can put our image along with the HTML document. Like this. The location, image file name and file type should match, otherwise the image will not be loaded in the page. Images in another folder and images on another server. If not specified, the browser expects to find the image in the same folder as the web page. However, it is common to store images in a subfolder. You must then include the folder name in the src attribute. Let's see this example. Some websites store their images on image servers. Actually, you can access images from any web address in the world by accessing the image web address. Like in this example. Alternatively, you can use the width and height attributes. Here, the values are specified in pixels by default. Always specify the width and height of an image. If width and height are not specified, the page will flicker while the image loads. Both the width, height, and style attributes are valid in HTML5. However, it is highly recommended to use the style attribute. It prevents internal or external styles sheets from changing the original size of images. Image file type and formats. The following image file types are generally supported by web browsers. This section provides insights that will help you select the most appropriate formats to use for your site's imagery. 1. Animated Portable Network Graphics, APNG, good choice for lossless animation sequences. Avif and WebP have better performance but less broad browser support. Supported by Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Opera, and Safari. APNG is a file format first introduced by Mozilla which extends the PNG standard to add support for animated images. 2. AV1 image file format, Avif, good choice for both images and animated images due to high performance and royalty-free image format. It offers much better compression than PNG or JPEG with support for higher color depths, animated frames, transparency etc. Note that when using AVIF, 
you should include fallbacks to formats with better browser support, using the picture element. Supported by Chrome, Opera, Firefox, behind a preference. Basic support only. AV1 image file format, AVIF, is a powerful new, open source, royalty-free file format that encodes AV1 bit streams in the high efficiency image file format, HIF, container. 3. Graphics Interchange Format, GIF, good choice for simple images and animations. Prefer PNG for lossless and indexed still images, and consider WebP, AVA for APNG for animation sequences. Supported by Chrome, Edge, Firefox, IE, Opera, and Safari. GIF uses the Lempel Ziv Welch, LZW, algorithm to losslessly compress 8-bit indexed color graphics. GIF was one of the first two graphics formats supported by HTML, along with XBM. 4. Joint Photographic Expert Group Image, JPEG, good choice for lossy compression of still images, currently the most popular. Prefer PNG when more precise reproduction of the image is required, or WebP AVIF if both better reproduction and higher compression are required. Supported by Chrome, Edge, Firefox, IE, Opera, and Safari. The JPEG, typically pronounced JPEG image format is currently the most widely used lossy compression format for still images. It's particularly useful for photographs. Applying lossy compression to content requiring sharpness, like diagrams or charts, can produce unsatisfactory results. 5. Portable Network Graphics, PNG. PNG is preferred over JPEG for more precise reproduction of source images, or when transparency is needed. WebP AVIF provide even better compression and reproduction, but browser support is more limited. Supported by Chrome, Edge, Firefox, IE, Opera, and Safari. The PNG, pronounced ping image format uses lossless or lossy compression to provide more efficient compression, and supports higher color depth than GIF, as well as full alpha transparency support. 6. Scalable Vector Graphics, SVG, Vector Image Format. Ideal for user interface elements, icons, diagrams, etc that must be drawn accurately at different sizes. Supported by Chrome, Edge, Firefox, IE, Opera, ND Safari. SVG is an XML-based vector graphics format that specifies the contents of an image as a set of drawing commands that create shapes, lines, apply colors, filters, and so forth. SVG files are ideal for diagrams, icons, and other images which can be accurately drawn at any size. As such, SVG is popular for user interface elements in modern web design. 7. Web Picture Format, WebP, excellent choice for both images and animated images. WebP offers much better compression than PNG or JPEG with support for higher color depths, animated frames, transparency etc. Avif offers slightly better compression, but is not quite as well supported in browsers and does not support progressive rendering. Supported by Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Opera, and Safari. WebP supports lossy compression via predictive coding based on the VP8 video codec, and lossless compression that uses substitutions for repeating data. Lossy WebP images average 25 to 35 percent smaller than JPEG images of visually similar compression levels. Lossless WebP images are typically 26% smaller than the same images in PNG format. The following list includes image formats that appear on the web, but which should be avoided for web content. Generally this is because either they do not have wide browser support, or because there are better alternatives. 1. Bitmap file, BMP, 2. Microsoft icon, ECO, and 3. Tagged image file format, TIFF. Image floating. Use the CSS float property to let the image float to the right or to the left of a text. Let's view this example.
Image Border The CSS border property allows users to specify the style, width, and color of an element's border. Using a border, you can place a frame around an image on a web page. By default, images have no border. Let's have this example. We will discuss the border property in detail in the other unit. HTML figure tag. Use a figure element to mark up a photo in a document, and a fit caption element to define a caption for the photo. Let's see this example. The figure tag specifies self-contained content, like illustrations, diagrams, photos, code listings, etc. While the content of the figure element is related to the main flow, its position is independent of the main flow, and if removed it should not affect the flow of the document. The fake caption element is used to add a caption for the figure element. Using the HTML5 picture element. Sometimes, scaling an image up or down to fit different devices, or screen sizes, doesn't work as expected. Also, reducing the image dimension using the width and height attribute or property doesn't reduce the original file size. To address these problems HTML5 has introduced the picture tag that allows you to define multiple versions of an image to target different types of devices. The picture element contains zero or more source elements, each referring to different image source, and one IMG element at the end. Also each source element has the media attribute which specifies a media condition, similar to the media query, that is used by the browser to determine when a particular source should be used. Let's try out an example. The browser will evaluate each child source element and choose the best match among them. If no matches are found, the URL of the IMG element's SRC attribute is used. Also, the IMG tag must be specified as the last child of the picture. Working with image maps. An image map allows you to define hotspots on an image that acts just like a hyperlink. The basic idea behind creating an image map is to provide an easy way of linking various parts of an image without dividing it into separate image files. Let's try out a simple example to understand how it actually works. The name attribute of the map tag is used to reference the map from the IMG tag using its use map attribute. The area tag is used inside the map element to define the clickable areas on an image. You can define any number of clickable areas within an image.
The image map should not be used for website navigation. They are not search engine friendly. The valid use of an image map is with a geographical map. There are many online tools available for creating image maps. Some advanced editors like Adobe Dreamweaver also provides a set of tools for easily creating image maps. Thank you for listening. Good job. You completed another unit.